Today I'm going to be working on a 2021 Hyundai Veloster N. The truth. We're going to put a set of brake pads on the car. This is the part number for the front uh, brake pads. Okay. Alright, first things first, let's get this thing jacked up in the air. You work outside at work, don't you? Yeah, I all right, now that we're off the ground, let's go ahead and get our wheels off. All right, so now we're gonna be taking off this bolt up here and this one right down here. They're both 14 millimeter. Um, I'm just gonna hit them with my small impact gun. It just sends them right out real easy. Oh, there it goes. Perhaps I was talking when I should have been listening. All right, so I just moved my caliper up out of the way. So next, we're gonna go ahead and take off these little wire hooking guys out of each one of the brake pads. It's easier said than done, there it goes. It just pops right out. And there's a top wire and a bottom wire. So we're gonna take them out of both sets. There we go. And then next, we're gonna be actually removing the pads themselves. There it goes. And you see these ones are very worn down. Like there's almost no meat left, especially compared to the new set right here. All right, here's a quick side-by-side -side with the old one and the new one. Uh, obviously the new one's already a little dirty because my grubby fingers have been all over it, but this old one has like no meat left on the pad where the new one has a whole lot. So it's definitely gonna give us a lot more life out of these pads. All right, next thing we'll take a little bit of a spray adhesive. I'm just gonna hit the backs of these really quick and we're going to be sticking our little shims right on the back, just like this. All right, now we're going to stick our new pads in place. I'm going to try the bottom end first and then yep, slide the top right in place. Now let's go ahead and do the inside pad. Now I did notice the inside pad is the one with the wear indicator. So just double check yours are set up the same way. All right, next we're gonna take out a little wire guy. Stick it back inside. A little provided holes on your brake pads. Wanna get that little guy all the way up in there. Of course, mine's gonna fight me a bit, but you may need like a pair of pliers, just kind of wiggle it around. There it goes. Get it all the way back up in there. We're gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the bottom one as well. Right. Now on the caliper itself, it's got this little tiny Allen key. It's a five millimeter. We're gonna go ahead and take that out so we can take this end plate off. Next, we're gonna stick in my nifty little brake caliper tool here. Just kind of sits in place. And you're gonna take one of your old pads Put it right here in between the, uh, the piston and the tool. And you're just gonna start tightening up the tool and it's gonna force this piston back inside. Now this guy's fully depressed, I'm gonna go ahead and stick our little end plate back on. Just kinda sets in place. And then we're gonna put our little Allen key back in the hole and snug it right up. All right, once we got that back on, once we got that back on, we're gonna bring our caliper back down, slide it over our pads, right back here. You're gonna depress this guy and the caliper is gonna slide right over the top of it and we can go ahead and put our bolt in. Maybe. There it goes. And we're gonna do the same on the bottom as well. Once you got all that tight, we can go ahead and put our wheels back on, drop the car on the ground, and you're all done.
Well, I hope this video helps. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down in the comment section below and I'll try and answer them as soon as I can. If you liked any of the background music in the video, please check out the artist SoundCloud. Link is in the description. Bye.